back in like the 90s. No, not even the 90s, probably like the 70s. It's a thought to me, baby. another video if you are new to my channel please do not forget to hit that subscribe button down below and support so today I decided to bring to you guys a hair tutorial pretty much showing you guys how I style my hair and most people don't know but this is a wig and yeah it's a wig but um I actually don't remember the name of this hair brand but I know I definitely got it from AliExpress it was about I don't even remember, but yeah, so I'm pretty much going to show you guys how I normally style my wigs. So yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, I know I look crazy. It's time to take this off. So the first thing I did was I pretty much curled the hair, like pretty much the front section, and then I pinned it up with bobby pins just so that the curls aren't like extremely loose. So yeah, the first thing, ooh, looking a little rusty, but that's okay. I'm going to fix that up. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is, on this, go up, okay. The first thing I'm going to do is take this got to be glue and a toothbrush. It could be a spool. I usually use a spoolie because it's much smaller and it's easier, but mine's just dirty right now and I have to clean it, so I'm just going to use this brush. And honestly, I don't really like this got to be glue because after a while, when it dries up, it starts to look white. And I kind of wish I would have got the black one because it's clear and you don't really see anything after it's dried. So, but I couldn't really find that one, so I just had to get this one. But yeah, if you're get if you're trying to look for any product to do your baby hair or even lay your wig down, got to be used the good one. But get the black one. Because the yellow one is good, but it's not always good. Oh, wow. This side is already laid. So, I'm going to just do this side. Let me look in this mirror so I don't mess up. Pretty much all I do is comb them down and then swoop. Comb them down and swoop. And then when I'm done, I'll pretty much just take any piece of old fabric or whatever and tie them down I usually do that overnight like let's say a night before school so that all I have to do is pretty much just front iron my hair or curl it or do whatever and not have to worry about doing the baby hair so pretty much everything is already laid there's nothing much here I have to do you can see there's a little change between the makeup or whatever but I'm gonna fix that when I'm done my brushes are actually up there I'm gonna eat some candy in the meantime I just love candy. So now I'm going to take these pins out. Actually, I have another step. I'm going to tie this down and leave it down for like five minutes and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. And it's time to take this off. Let's see how everything looks. I just hope it didn't leave that white art because it's so ugly. Mm, pretty good still feels kind of wet but just fix up my makeup and a tip just to make sure that the lace actually matches your skin is I take my pro concealer in the color um what color is it chestnut and I just pretty much put it on to the lace the part and then I use a brush and I just you know blend it in and then I take like a brown powder or anything and I also put that on top just to set it so that it doesn't look like too pale. So yeah, that's pretty much all I do. And then I just do that. And with the lace, like I made like a little V cut right here just so that it's not as um visible. Because usually I would just hide the whole lace from here. But I usually, but now I just started to cut like a V shape. So that it just lays better, in my opinion. It just looks better. So now I'm going to comb out this part of my hair in the back. Okay. Now 
I'm going to take these pins out and see. Let me start from over here and see how this looks. Uh, if I could find them. If, do you guys like my nails? I don't know if you guys could see them, but yeah, I did these myself. They're not perfect, but in my opinion, they look bomb. You know, I did these myself. The next color, I think it's going to be yellow. Probably something similar to this color. I don't know. Maybe. But yeah. I feel like I should definitely give you guys a nail tutorial. So if you want to see that, please comment down below so I know. So I know that I'm just not wasting my time doing a video that you guys don't want to see. So yeah. I'm taking out the curls. That's how it looks. And I will definitely be fixing those up. Because honestly, I don't really like um body wave. Like, I feel like that style doesn't really fit me. So that's why you see that I only did like the front area of my hair. Because it just makes my face look a lot more slimmer. And I guess me I, I don't know I don't know the word but it just makes me look more put together so yeah looking like the 90s <laughs> not even the 90s probably like the 70s and I'm gonna take this brush and brush these curls out just a little and at the ends I'm gonna curl them with this brush just so that they're not all the way flat out Okay, this one, I'm going to just do like that. Over here, I'm going to do the same thing. Sometimes if the curls don't come out how you want, you can pretty much go back in with a flat iron, curling iron, whatever you use. And fix that up, which is pretty much what I'm going to do. So I just take it like this. Flip it back. Roll down. Ooh, this thing is real hot. And start rolling upwards. Don't worry about these little pieces that will fall off. You could simply just fix that whenever. So just like that. Clamp it. Okay. And then I'm going to roll it from right here. Brush that out a little bit. I'm just trying to make sure the curls look how I want them to. Okay. I really did. This one is a little flat, so I'm going to just fix this one up I swear one of them always look better than the other I don't know why just roll it like this clamp and keep rolling clamp oh keep rolling I always struggle to like twist my hand like that because it's like I'm going in the opposite direction so it feels like I'm breaking my wrist clamp so you got no hair left and then you roll that little piece that you guys see I don't even know where it went but I'm gonna just keep rolling and clamping This side is not coming out how I want, but this side is good, so I'm good. But yeah, let me just fix up those baby hairs. I don't know why. 
they are trying to play with me right now. I'm just brush that over it just like that. Oh yeah. Everything else is already flat ironed. And bone straight. So this is pretty much it. Oh yeah. I hate how my background looks. I'm just tilt it this way. Oh so, yeah. This is the finished look. This is how I style my wig. And pretty much this is all I would do in the morning. And it takes me about like 20 minutes because I most likely like time myself just so that I'm not wasting too many minutes on just doing one thing. I have to make sure that everything I do is like equal amount of time. So that I don't waste time, you know, and that I have time to do everything that I need to do in the morning for school. So, yeah. And I have to rush to catch the bus. So, if I miss the bus, then there's no way of me going to school. So, you know, time management is the key to everything, honestly. But, yeah, this is the finished look. This is how my hair looks. Yeah. I like it but this side is just not working with me like this side is so nice and curly and this side is just I don't know what's going on but I'm gonna fix that but I just wanted to show you guys everything I do to style my hair you know I always get compliments on my hair because you know I'm so um what's the word stylish <laughs> I guess but yeah, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys like it. Please continue to like, comment, and subscribe to my videos and my channel. And I will definitely bring I will definitely bring more videos for you guys to enjoy. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Peace.